Alright guys, so as you may remember, I went ahead and installed a new fuel pump, and that means that you have to install this fuel relay mod. Um, some things if you don't do it, it will burn out that portion of your ECU, and you will be very sad. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you what we got here. So, let's see, let's focus real quick. Um, so we have this little relay I picked up for like $8 at AutoZone, um, and it's got four connections onto it. Um, one is a battery positive, um, and then it goes out to the ground. And then we have a signal wire, and then that goes to the ground as well. Um, this is based on um, a relay mod done by Turbo Charge Creations, and there's a link for that down in the description. Um, so this is all him. Um, I'm not taking credit for it. But it is a very good thing to do if you're going to upgrade your fuel pump. Um, and very good thing meaning you'll eventually burn out your ECU, so you got to do it. All right, so let me go and show you how this is working. All right, so up here on our battery... We've got, there we go, we've got this little new cable attached. And it's run down through a firewall down there. And it comes inside. Under here, see if we can see it, right where that loom is, it comes through. And I took it around under this body panel right here through the side here and there's other wiring that already goes there and it comes out over to here you can see it right there and I just ran it along with this other harness that goes up in and then it goes oops, up through here up over there and then into the back so that is our battery, battery positive and that's this wire right here and it goes into terminal 5 on our marking scheme and I went ahead and just did that on top or on the bottom, it is labeled Terminal 30, 30. All right, so the opposite of that is going to be its ground. And that ground comes out, and it's going to be, oh, sorry, um, that's not the ground. The power comes in through here, and then it's going to go out into our pump. So our pump is spliced into this relay. Now, the pump has two wires that come out of it, a thick ground wire, and then this one that's black and white. Oops, sorry, there we go. This one is black and white for our power. So our power comes in through here, and it's going to go around through here and into our pump. Now the pump wire comes out, and we have this thick black wire, and it splits into two. We're only going to use one of them. And so that one on the other side you splice. It's the black one, not the gray one. You're going to go ahead and just stick it into a ground right there. Now, for your signal wire, which is going to tell the relay to turn on, you have two options. Um, if you do this before you burn out your ECU, you can go ahead and use this blue and white wire with the little red dots. Let me see if I can show you better. Right there. It's blue with white stripes and then red dots all along it. And that is your signal wire from the ECU. For the, it was the original power for the pump. Um, so you're going to splice that off of your little connection right here. And you're going to go ahead and stick that into... It goes... Oops, I missed that one up. I actually messed that one up for mine. So um, it would go into spot two. Or... Terminal uh, 87, the left one, I think. I'll go ahead and write that out. Um, I've got a diagram for you guys. Um, I believe it does go through 87. Now, on the other side of that, that one comes out and it grounds as well. Now, for me, I couldn't use this original signal while because I burned out my ECU. So, I'll show you what I had to do. Come over to this side of the car. And I apologize, I already put it all back together and I'm too lazy to take it apart again. But I'll show you basically what I did. Right here is our key cylinder. Oop, right there is our key cylinder. Let me, whoop, there we go. Alright, so if you go ahead, and I've got a video on how to remove all this stuff. Um, there's just a couple of screws down there, a couple of screws up here. And then we pop this ring out and get it around the uh, cruise control. Um, the ignition cylinder has uh, three, four wires that come out of it. Now, I've got a picture of which one I chose. But let me show you so you can double check for yourself before you go ahead and splice it. Um, you stick a positive uh, voltmeter into it and then stick the negative voltmeter onto a piece of metal, just a ground. And you turn the key and once it gets to the on position you want to see 12 volts through that line. You don't want to see 12 volts through lock, off, ACC, um, or anything else. You just want it to be on the on. So when you turn your key on then it will go ahead and turn your pump on. 
Um, and this, like I said, this is only if you burn out your ECU. If you do this before you upgrade your fuel pump, then you'll be all fine, and uh, you can just use the standard one. But what I had to do is I went ahead and found the one. It was the black with white with a white stripe, and I ran it down around this way through here, and I ran it just like the other one back around, and you can see it's this gray wire to the right side, right right there and I just ran it along with that other loom to the front or to the back so there we go we've got this gray one now and that comes in through here where your signal wire was in 87 and like I said it grounds um, so now what happens is when I turn the key into the on position 12 volts is sent to here and the relay turns on and that allows power to pass through from the battery to the pump now what I'm going to do, and what I believe you should do too, um, just a good recommendation, is put an inline fuse in your power. So this is our power line coming from the front right here. I'm going to splice this and stick two connectors on here so that I can stick a fuse in. Um, now specific to your pump, you have to look that up. Mine is current, my max current draw is 9.7 amps. Um, so I'm probably going to put either a 10 or a 15 amp fuse in here. That way it just doesn't draw too much just in case and burn out my pump. Um, and that should be it, guys. If you have any questions, please ask me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up a diagram right now. Um, that's going to be just showing you the technical wiring for this. Um, but if not, um, and you have any questions from the video still, please ask. Um, if you have any future video suggestions or anything, um, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you, you found this video helpful. Um, it definitely was for me from Turbocharged Creations uh, when I burnt out my ECU. So definitely do that um, and see you guys in my next video.